Hello. Hey, I am so excited to be here. I'm half as excited as I was last time I was here, but this is way cooler. First off, I got so excited about being able to be here that I wanted to make a stage name. Couldn't come up with one. And when I saw that y'all like costumes, I was like, man, I want a freaking costume. I want to get up here and I want to recite poetry in a costume. I went through my closet looking for things that I could come up with for a costume. I had this black trench coat. I thought, wow, this is so cool. Put the black trench coat on, buttoned it up, sunglasses. I went, it's like a Matrix thing. I'm Morpheus, you know, the red poem, the blue poem. Which one do you choose? <laughs> Then I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, less matrix and more World Wide Web. And so I was like, no, this is not going to work. So I unbuttoned it, put the hat on backwards, and I went, Silent Bob. <laughs> I'm him. And then I thought, Silent, that's not going to work. And then I remembered that Russ said there was no smoking here and that guts the character if you can't smoke. So. I thought, okay, I gotta do something. I always wear this coat. Gotta do something with the coat. So I zip it up. The Unirimer. Okay? I'm like giving my poetic manifesto to the masses, right? And I'm living this Walter Mitty kind of life because it's like, the fantasy is always way cooler than the reality because I look at myself in the mirror once again and I know what y'all are all thinking, one of two things. Either a really tall, portly Jawa or a really short, fat Dementor. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and just be me. Okay, so that aside, that aside, um, I got a request last week to do a poem about someone yelled roast beef first and then they said the unisex bathroom. Unfortunately, I am not connected to reality as I mentioned and I honestly, having gone to the men's room here, did not know that the other bathroom was not a women's bathroom. I thought unisex bathroom was like a joke or something people wanted and didn't have. Unfortunately, you have one. So this is going to be a poem based not on reality. Okay? Because since I've already made it up, I can't go back. I was sitting over there at the table and I had my little pad out and I'm like, can I change it and relearn it in like 12 minutes? And it's not going to work. So here we go. This is the poem that I like to call the unisex, unisex bathroom. I think that we will never see a loo that serves both he and she. Because girls are used to having stalls and guys have urinals on the walls. Even though it crossed my mind that chicks on urinals, I'm behind. That idea must fade away as practical must rule the day. We'd have guys peeing in their cup waiting on girls to freshen up. And gals would beat a swift retreat since guys can hardly miss the seat. It's really something we can't do to have a bathroom made for two. I'm sure the landlord and our lease won't let Jane's drip wear Dick's release. We're all mature, <laughs> but uh, understand that all-in-one was never planned. When the uh, builders put the plumbing in, they placed a space for her and him. So there's really nothing more to say. We'll have to go our separate way. <laughs> but don't let this put you out of joint. I think I've made some valid points. So guys, when you go take a piss, as always, it's without the miss. And gals, when you should seek relief, it sadly should be sans roast beef. <laughs> what a way to shoehorn roast beef into that poem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.